Hi, I'm Tom Lockwelly from Edinburgh Hack Lab. I'm joined by Tom Joyce on the camera, and we're going to talk you through some of our initial experiments into optical localization. Our grand plan is to build an open source robot arm accurate to at least 0.1 mil accuracy. And, and this setup is about testing how accurate we can get off the shelf components. Um, so here we have mounted as a USB camera, the Microsoft Live 3000, and we've set that up so it faces this pattern here, uh, and we've printed off these dots, so we know their relative distance to each other, uh, but what we don't know is where they are precisely in relation to the camera, and we'll be using software to try and estimate that. Now the camera's mounted on top of these rails, and we've connected to the trolley a uh, set of digital um, calipers so we can measure the translation uh, in millimeters. Now this trolley is pulled by a pulley which is connected to a gear train to an electric motor. We found um, if we tried moving the trolley by hand we'd introduce a lot of shakes uh, so this is how we can get quite a lot of accuracy by decoupling ourselves from the system. So I'll try and turn it now. Oh moved it a bit far. Uh, that's it now, 5.4 millimetres, if I can try and do a little one. There we go, now it's 6.8 millimetres. So by using this setup we can move the camera small amounts and uh, see what, what the software thinks. Uh, the distance from the camera to the pattern uh, is a full 65 centimetres. Uh, the camera is connected <coughs> To the control system over here. So if I just so the software we're using is the robot operating system. Uh, and a vision processing software called Vision Vis by the Lagardic University. Um, the system is initialized by first telling it where some known dots are, and then uses those to estimate um, a full set of uh, to estimate the remainder of the positions. Um, and then this is now a piece of software we wrote. Uh, using some of OpenCV's functionality. What we do is, based on these positions, we estimate a homography matrix which transforms between screen coordinates to world coordinates. And we use a robust method so that when one uh, dot loses its tracking, uh, that value is not used in the estimation of the homography matrix. And furthermore, we use the good dots um, to re-estimate the position so that things can so th the, the dots can fail and they're regenerated so uh, what Tom will do here is use the occlusion wand to disrupt th that pattern as it's viewed to the camera so if you give it a go Tom so you see these dots lost tracking but then they're regenerated and you can be quite brave with it and it just immediately regenerates where the positions were so all these points are then used uh, if they're known to be good to estimate a homography matrix now the idea of our actual experiment uh, is to try and correlate the movement of the trolley with the values in the homography matrix and we'll be able to use that to estimate how accurate our system is and here's the results we got uh, we got a great linear relationship and what we found was the predicted error in the system was much less than we could measure so we were aiming at 0.1 mil accuracy. We definitely achieved 0.1 mil accuracy. We think it's a lot more accurate than that, 
but our calipers are only accurate to 0.1 mil accuracy so we don't really know how accurate we've managed to get this system uh, we probably need better Lego skills uh, <laughs> to investigate further um, all of this is written up on Edinburgh Hack Lab uh, the data's there uh, enjoy thanks <laughs>